Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. So, uh, last time I played this, like I said, I was using a tablet. We were doing 720p, and we were barely achieving mostly playable frame rates, you know, with like weird choppiness and stuff, especially as the episode went on. Uh, since then, I have gotten a new temporary laptop that I can record with for the time being, and um, after doing some tests and uh, actually recording my other series, this works fantastically. So, this should go a lot better this time. And, on uh, relation to the game, we're back into the trial, and I don't actually know how many days this uh, one is going to be. It doesn't seem to be following the first game where the first trial, or the first, uh, Trial had like one day, and the second trial had two, and the third had three. This one seems like it's going for a longer one here. So let's continue. Um, Nick? Sorry, just got a message I had to reply to. Yeah. Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me. Uh, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's so, so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then, you look at me and, well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Uh, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Ooh, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls. This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Yeah, we don't want the bad stuff to be happening. We don't want her to see her mother. Was it what what was it actually it's been so long. Wasn't it her mother? I think it was. Let me um, let, um, let me see if I can get the voice. Court is mm, 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 it's a little off. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Mayor Fay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright. I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's true what they say. 
Women really are scary when they fight. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, let's hear it. The pers- uh, not persecution, the prosecution, has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? That can't be true! But, Miss Von Karma! Then, how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then, what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. She made sure to bring the cup with her, though. Witness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium. In a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but... What do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Oh! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from the body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes, that is. Move! You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in, possess while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Goodness me, look how big her hair is. <laughs> order! 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 Miss Fey, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Maya's escape! <laughs> After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Uh, sure. Why have you hidden this until now? I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Look at that smug face. 
After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and into the chamber. Just now you said, those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Uh, Lot is not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention, she looked awful. I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. I was actually kind of hoping that she was just going to be sitting, like, you know, in the audience and start yelling at her. What are you talking about? In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Mmm, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Oop, uh, let's go back. I meant to press that. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple? Just call the police. If there is a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes. That is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify! Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger. Is what I thought to myself. She does have big hair. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my on for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused May to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? Because you can get away with it in this court. It is very painful for me to say this, however... Objection. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? So, you were covering for the defendant. Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the regener that the renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What pray tell did she Oog! The witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. But I'd like to know now, very well! Uh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. The defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Objection. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Faye. Ugh. Growing old is such a mysterious thing! Trust me, I know firsthand! Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... 
With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed under the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Mmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Is that because you were unconscious? Y yes, of course it is. Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself! Look at her big hair! It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what... It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough! From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And for, 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 for the words she has to say, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is... Oh! Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was that she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss... Okay, so I was told I was saying this wrong. Let me look this up real quick. Hold on. Alright, so someone said that I was pronouncing the name wrong. I'm calling it Eeny Meeny. They're saying it's Miney. However, I will say something... It doesn't... It, that doesn't quite make sense to me. Because the name Eeny Meeny is supposed to, like, you know, kind of rhyme. Eeny Miney doesn't rhyme. And... One interesting thing is, now I don't know how how reliable the aceattorneyfandom.com wiki is, but they do mention down here that the English names come from the children's counting rhyme, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. So I'm pretty sure it's Eeny, Meeny. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to keep calling it that because I, I like how that sounds better. The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who is sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny? I think you can see where this is headed. Witness. Name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Meeny. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that is what most people call it. I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Meany. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm. Like, I guess, if that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine, for my sake. Like, I guess it could be Eeny Miny, but it just, it sounds like it rhymes better, Eeny Meeny. You know? 
like when the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like a little later someone came into the room, like really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like hadn't seen her in like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. And and what did she tell you? Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered the room was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, your honor. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit of... Was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. Mimi? She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Now, now I'm getting these mixed up for real. Oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Meanie, please! My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny? <laughs> she took her revenge! Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it! I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge! It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This, this testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. After the murder. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Was that because of your, uh, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that I was going to totally be... It was going to be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Mmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 
11 a.m. Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I mean, what time was it when someone came into your room? Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness, about this person who entered the side room. It was like... Oh my god, totally, my sister. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I am an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Mimi Mimi? I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with a surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. But I, like, know all about the Korean channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm. No, of course we don't want to drop it. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? Nope. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Ow! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection... Could you try using that once in a while? Mm, Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister is really, is it really that important? Oh, it's very important. It is very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right, Mr. Wright. Miss Meanie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm, like, totally cool with that. I wasn't, like, scared at all. And, like, her costume totally looked, like, normal. So we probably need to press that with that her costume is covered with blood, maybe. So there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. Hmm. Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Like, I... Can I, like, go on? Let's press this and then we'll go back. If that's what it needs to be. Something terrible. What was this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish seed for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> anyway, should I ask you to hear the story again? I'm sorry, but I could hear the story... Could I hear the story one more time? 
Like, sure, no problem. I'll even, like, tell it all spooky-like for you. <laughs> the spooky music comes in again. I'm not going to read all this. I guess it's just a recap if you really want this again. it lets me skip it. Nope. Can't skip this. Like, how is that? It was a little scary! Like, I'm sorry. Maybe I, like, put too much spookiness into it? I know there has to be something here I can use. But where? She really put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. There's bound to... She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up. But don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. 